Hi, my love. This is your boy here with LA Curly Girls, and I'm coming back to you with another installment in that encouraging word series that I still have yet to come up with a title for. I know. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Um, today, I want to talk about your hair health. And this is really going towards the transitioner because I really want you to get a good understanding of learning your hair. And one of the things that I really want to talk about is moisture. How do you know if your hair is moisturized? Because our mantra is moisture, moisture, moisture. Water, 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 conditioner, conditioner, conditioner. You need some moisturizing conditioner, you need a moisturizer, you need to fill in the moisture, and then you need to make sure you're getting moisture in. And then the elements play a big role in what happens to the moisture that's in your hair. Do you want to lose it? Do you want to keep it? Um, and then we look at porosity and how well your hair absorbs moisture and how well it holds on to moisture. So moisture is a huge thing for our curls, right? But if you back all the way up on that, how many of us know what moisturized hair really feels like? I was, and I've been pondering this thought for months, and I just haven't gotten around to film it until today. But I was recently at um, an event that Felicia Leatherwood was at, and she was speaking, and she was saying that a lot of naturals say, oh, my hair is so dry, my hair is so dry. And then when they get in her chair, She's like, your hair is fine, your hair is not dry. And I remember, it was a couple years ago, I was, um, one of my meetups, and I was there with Denim Pixie and someone else, and we were talking about our hair, and they were saying, oh, my hair feels good, my hair feels good. And I was like, well, my hair feels okay, but it doesn't feel, it feels a little dry. And it's like, no, it's the gel cast that you have on your hair. Didn't you just do your hair? And I was like, yeah. So I had to stop and really take a minute to really um, ponder, did I really know what moisturized hair feels like? And the big question is, okay, sure, we do a lot of things with wet hair. So we know what wet hair feels like. We know what hair feels like with product on it. But once their hair dries and... Um, once your hair dries, we need to know what it feels like. If it feels dry, void of moisture, or is it just dry, not wet? One of the things that I've always done, and I didn't realize how much it helped me until that conversation is, I do a little strand test, or I do a curl, a clump, <laughs> whatever test. I take some hair. This one probably is. And then I take it from the root, and yes, I have gel right here, so you it's different. Take it from here, and I feel the texture, and I run down the strand, and I feel it. If there's any difference in the way it feels from here to here, most likely it's down at the end where your hair is the oldest, and it has damage. If it feels different, if it starts to feel dry, like a dry, brittle leaf, maybe, then that hair is dry. But if it feels the same from the root to the tip, to the bottom strand, um, most likely your hair is moisturized. Now, you have to take in consideration gel cast. So if you're like me and you wear a wash and go, or if you're a twister and you use something that leaves a little gel cast, and it still you have crunchy hair, you have to take in consideration the gel cast. So you need to be able to differentiate the gel cast versus the moisture in your hair. Now some people will say, well you really can't tell because you have stuff on your hair. No, I believe you can. Um, because I have, I've had dry, really dry hair with a gel cast and it feels like a dry, brittle leaf. But I've had a gel cast with super moisturized hair and it feels like a leaf, like a bright green leaf that it's not wet, but when you feel it, you kind of think, oh, dewy. 
And that could be, the dewy part could be part of the gel cap and the product that's still on my hair. Now, once I go from there, then I go into the shower. Once I rinse all my hair out, and I can run my hair, run my hair down the, the length of my hair, especially when I get down to my ends, if my hair still feels the same, um, if it was the same all the way down from the root to the tip of my hair, then I have moisturized hair. But if, if I feel good here, and then at the end, it's dry, even in the water, and I'm dealing with dry hair. Now, some people will say, well, my ends always feel bad. First, I'm going to say, get your ends trimmed. Trim them and see. Don't try to hold on to the length. Just trim them. It's going to grow back. Okay, because you already started incorporating good techniques. You have a good regimen. You're building a solid regimen. So you're feeding your hair what it needs. Okay? Even if you need to do some tweaking, you're doing a lot better because you take, you've taken out the bad stuff, you're using good products, you're probably eating better, so your hair is thriving. So now what you're going to do is work on retaining that length, and one of those things that you have to do is make sure that you understand your moisture balance, okay? And the moisture, your, what your hair feels like when it's thoroughly moisturized, okay? So, again, we don't want dry, cracked leaves. We would want a flexible leaf. Um, one that if you touch the leaf and you close your eyes, you would think of a green, pretty, dewy leaf. Okay? Um, so, that's what I'm going to leave you with. Um, then we're going to go on. The next video probably will be about how to get the moisture in, how to keep the moisture in, those kind of things, okay? So, tell me what you guys think about dry hair versus wet hair. Tell me if you know the difference. How many of you even thought about it? Um, and then actually explain to me what you think. That's just my definition, what I came up with. The dry leaf, the dry cr brittle crack leaf may not work for you. You may say, no, that's not really how my hair feels. Or the green leaf with the dew on it, that's meant that may not work for you. And that's fine. We all have our own definitions. So go ahead and share with me um, your description of what moisturized hair feels like. Okay? We're going to go into what it looks like as well. And we one size does not fit all, especially with hair dynamics. Okay? So go ahead, comment below, and I will be back, my loves. Stay beautifully curly. <laughs>